Hey guys, it's me, Nez. Happy Saturday, y'all. Um, I just dropped my girls off at dance camp at our local high school. Um, they're going to be performing for pregame for one of the, um, I guess, football games. Yeah, I think yeah, football. And so I just thought it would be a fun activity to do on this fine Saturday. Um, so I'm just coming from their gym and I said, let me... You know, dig into some scripture and have a little fellowship. So let's go to John chapter 6, starting from verse 26. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me, not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. Uh, so it's interesting where um, the disciples, uh, or, you know, those who were, you know, following Jesus around, uh, it says people were standing you know, on the other side of the sea. Um, Jesus, I guess, you know, he preached. And it says like how bit there came other boats from Tiberias nigh unto the place where they did eat bread after that the Lord had given thanks, right? So, so pretty much they had like a free meal. Hmm? I think after this, Jesus even feeds the 5,000, right? These people got some meal and then now other people, they have <laughs> new spread and 5,000 5, men, not including the women and children, right? Came and said, well, you know, we heard that you, we can get a free lunch that he be doing miracles right <laughs> jesus knows this he's like you seek me not because you saw and, and you know saw the miracles right but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled it's because you know you were gonna have a free meal so he's like you know what look y'all are just living for your bellies right it's like this lust, this this um, this vain pursuit, really. <laughs> but I think there's like a verse that says like their um, kind of like their God is their belly, right? The the Son of Man, a whole Jesus Christ, is there, and they don't even realize who He is. So He's like, you know, instead, labor for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, and He's talking about Himself. He is the meat and the drink. He is the bread of life. I mean, yeah, he's giving you physical. I mean, he's not going to let you starve. He doesn't have it in his heart to do that. He's going to provide. But this physical substance or sustenance is not the real one. You would rather you eat of him. He is the bread of life, right? And he says that, you know, that which leads unto un everlasting life because he, uh, believe on Jesus and he, you will have everlasting life. Any whosoever believes shall have everlasting life. Who believes in Jesus, right? So, which the Son of Man shall give unto you because, he, like, if you're seeking him as the brother, he will give himself to you. He's not going to deny you himself. Just like he didn't deny you the bread. And the, the five loaves and the, and the three fishes that multiplied. No, he's not. He is not going to deny you himself. He said that you will have everlasting life. I am the way, the truth, and the life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. Right? So, with the, so the person who believes and receives eternal life, the Father God has sealed him. And remember, who's our seal? The Holy Spirit is our seal. And uh, when I read this, it also relates, it, I, I remembered like if on like a few verses or maybe the previous chapter where it says, he's talking to the Pharisees, I believe. And he says in scripture, uh, well, in John chapter, ooh, John chapter five, verse 39, he says, search the scriptures. For in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me, 
that ye might have life. So now these are people who have the scriptures, who delve into it, right? Who are so learned, but yet they've missed the point. They've missed the mark. Search, he's like, look, search the scriptures. Even within the road to Emmaus, he was expounding upon scriptures. And the scriptures spoke of himself. And then their eyes were open, like, oh my goodness, that was Jesus. That was Jesus who was walking with us. And he opened up scriptures and it spoke of him. And he's saying to the Pharisees, hey, search the scriptures for in them ye think ye have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. So... They think they haven't made, you know, we, we know we've, we're studied and, you know, we got it going on. Um, like the self-righteous kind of attitude, but it's like they've missed the person of Christ in the, the words written, in the written word. And it says that they, it testifies of me, it declares of me, and ye will not come to me. I'm here, I'm right here. I'm the one whom the Father has sent, and yet you, you reject me. You will not come to me that ye might have life. Mm, because I, And he says, I receive not honor from men. Because, you know, he came lowly. He's not like this grandiose king, conquering king or, or whatever, that they probably thought he would come in his first advent. He came meekly, right? And he, came, he says, I come in my father's name and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. And you, you know who that is. That's the Antichrist. And... This prophecy will be fulfilled then. They will receive him until the abomination of desolation, where they're like, well, we'll worship you. That's not, uh-uh, right? In the temple. And, the, and you know, the Antichrist will desecrate it. So, like, so he's like, he, he, you, I'm here. And yet you don't believe me. Even Moses, you don't believe. He says, for do you not think that I, have, I will accuse you to the Father? There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom you trust. You know, they're, they're the law, the keepers of the law, right? Supposedly. And they have trusted the, the laws of Moses, right? But Moses spoke, all these things were shadows of Christ to come. The law pointed to Christ. And yet they didn't realize that. The law was a, a schoolmaster to lead them to Christ. Say, for had, had, it says, for had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. For he wrote of me. He wrote of me. He wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? And it's not, it, it's not even uh, the, um, the Ten Commandments, all of that. There are other, the, all of Moses' writings, Right. I, I forget if it's Moses who wrote like the first like the the Torah, I think it's the, I think so the Torah. Um, I think it was Moses, but correct me if I'm wrong. So all all of that scripture in the Torah speaks about Jesus, and yet they could not recognize who he was. So going back to him saying, "Hey," it, it says in uh, chapter six. Verse um, 32, verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father giveth you the true bread from heaven. And he's talking about himself. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. This is, Jesus is the life. He we sometimes just have our mindset on the carnal things, on the earthly things, and not on heavenly things, the things that are above. You know, it says in, I think Philippians, it set your mind on these things. It's the heavenly. It's of Christ, right? The bread of heaven is Christ. He is the life. Literally, with food that we eat to give us energy, to live Bible says um, the word man shall not eat by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. This is God speaking to Moses and Moses. He considered his friend. Well, no, Abraham, but Moses. Uh, yeah, I forget where it says. I think it's Moses. that he spoke back to. And uh, I'm sorry, forgive me. I cannot remember some scriptures, but wherever it said, 
this is God is repeating what he said in the Old Testament, in the scriptures in the Old Testament, where man shall not eat by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. He's saying the same thing. He is the true bread of heaven. The word that proceeds from the mouth of God, Jesus is the word. He is the word of God. Everything it says in, I think, Hebrews, the first chapter, the first three verses, that Christ is an express image. Everything that he has to speak about, he's spoken through prophets in the past, but now he speaks to his son. So his word, his son being the word, that's all she wrote. That's all God is going to say to you. His last word to all men is Christ. That is his speaking right now through Christ. And he's saying Christ is the life. And he's eternal life. He's a life that he wants to give onto the world. And it's just for the world to receive that, to eat of him. He is the bread, the true, he says the true bread from heaven. Yeah, Moses ate and the Israelites ate the manna. But that was just a type in the shadow. Of Christ. Everything. Everything. God has spoken through his son. Everything that he has done. Up to this, up to now, and for the future is for, is through Christ. It's for Christ. It's by Christ. Honestly. If you really think about it. It says it in, 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 in the same book, John chapter one. And we know it. Where it says, um. In the beginning, yeah, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything that was made. In him was life. See this life? And the life was the light of men. Jesus is the life and he's the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Because Jesus is God. He. <laughs> so much mystery. That Jesus the Christ. Would come to die. For man. And not just. Not stay dead. Buried and rose again on the third day. Now we know of the ascended Christ. We don't know him after the flesh. We know him by the spirit. We don't know him as. Oh he's the earthly Jesus who walked, walked on earth. Right. And his earthly ministry, you know, and his speaking that. Yes, that was what he passed through and what he, you know. He was still under the law. He spoke to the children of Israel. He was sent to the uh, the house of Israel. But now he has risen. His word is for all men, both Jew and Gentile. There's no distinction now. We're a new man in Christ, right? So th- this is the present reality, the present truth. And it's something that the darkness cannot comprehend. Even even till now, I mean, or even then, Satan didn't understand the plan of God. Not even the angels. The angels, still, the angels like God's angels, they don't understand. They're still learning. Like, what is this? Who's man that God is so mindful of them? What, the, what is this plan of God? And he's going to, through the church, he's going to share in all his, his, um, his abundant grace, all the, his, his, his mercies, his, what does it say? Um, that he's going to sh- show forth his exceeding mercy, uh, show forth. Um, I forget, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, the ages to come. Let me look for that verse. I want to say it because I really like. <laughs> yes, it says that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness through us, through Christ Jesus, showing where it's going to be displayed to the angels to every every being to all creation he's going to show from the ages to come to show the exceeding riches of his grace because what else is there <laughs> what else is there 
his grace and his kindness. I mean, his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus is still mind boggling. It's still mind blowing what Christ did. If you really meditate on it, you you can't help but be blown, like mind blown. Even the angels are like, what? How? We and then we don't sometimes we don't realize it, but I feel like once we pass on to the next um, you know, the rapture and we have get our new glorified, I think the full weight. Whew, I'm getting chills. The full weight of it, we and even at that, there's still so much more to be shown to us. To still so much more understanding. We just got we just have this glimpse, and even that glimpse, this iota, is massive. It's heavy. The weight of glory is, mm. oh, yes, yes, yes. It, we, we ain't seen nothing yet. We ain't seen nothing yet. God is good. God is really good. Last night I was just thinking, God is so good. God is so good. He is so good, so kind, so merciful, so gracious unto us. You know, where would we be without him? Mm. So I love that he is our life. You know, it's not he's not just our free ticket to heaven. We have to have this understanding that he is our life. It says in him we live, move, and have our being. Right? Yeah. It says it. I, I want to get, I, I really want to get all these scriptures. Live, move, have our being. For in him, yeah, I, for in him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. For as much as then, as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art or man's device. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commanded all men were to repent we mean change change your mind about what you what you know about who god is change your mind right because he hath appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained whereof he hath even he hath given assurance unto all men in that he had raised him from the dead meaning there is christ christ has been revealed so there is no, you can't be like, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. No, he, he has been. In this day and age, you know about Jesus Christ. There's no way, no how. It's either you accept him, believe in him, or you reject, right? In this, there's, the time of ignorance has passed. He, he winked at it before. Well, then now there's no excuse. Even creation declares the glory of God. So there's no excuse. Okay. So, um, I think I'm going to stop there. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to come and just have a little fellowship with you guys. And I, I, I've been blessed. This was a blessing. So, I love you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.